Uridium. I don't know how to say it. It's Y T T R I U M. Is element 39 on the periodic table of elements. Not all these elements, I can say. They, they get difficult. Um, so this is Norris Teacher Science with me, Mr. Norris, another physical science edition video. We're going to still be talking about physics concepts, and this physics concept is ideal mechanical advantage. I can calculate ideal mechanical advantage of machines. So what is ideal mechanical advantage? It is the mechan it is the mechanical advantage in the absence of friction. So this is in a perfect universe if there was no friction, but there's always friction. So because friction is always present, the actual mechanical advantage of machine will always be less than ideal. So you can calculate both for any machine, but actual will be less than ideal because of friction. Ideal is all about if we didn't have to worry about friction, but we do. So that's how that works. So here's the formula. So IMA, which stands for ideal mechanical advantage, is DE over DR, which is input out over output. So IMA stands for ideal mechanical advantage, and IMA has no unit. Just like AMA, IMA does not have a unit. DE is displacement of effort force or input distance. Input distance, what you input for distance. And DR is displacement of resistance force or the output distance, what the machine does dis distance. Because remember, input is you and output is machine. Both DE and DR will have the unit of meters. Right, if you place it in the formula, because DE is being divided by DR, and we place it in the triangle, DE at the top, DR at the bottom, IMA in the um, empty spot. If you haven't watched any of these, any, if, whew, if you haven't watched any of these videos, you need to know that numbers on top of each other divide, and numbers next to each other multiply. All right, so let's do our first practice. It says a woman drives a car up onto wheel ramps to perform some repairs. If she drives a distance of 1.8 meters along the ramp to raise the car 0.3 meters, what is the IMA? Since we're trying to find IMA, we're going to leave that in the triangle. And IMA at the top goes what the person or you do. And this person did 1.8 meters. And when she did one, the bottom is the output distance and that's what the machine does and the machine does 0.3 meters so numbers are on top of each other we divide 1.8 divided by 0.3 that's how you would enter it in the calculator you would get that the answer is six and you can place ima after it just so you can have a way to look at the number all right second practice um pause right now see if you can figure it out pause did you pause 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 Pause, 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 all right, I'm going to continue, it says a construction worker moves a crowbar a distance of 4 meters to lift a load 0.5 meters off the ground, what is the IMA of the crowbar, so we're trying to find IMA, so we're going to leave that in our triangle, at the top goes the input force, what you do or what the person does, and the person did 4 meters, and the output is what the machine does. The machine did 0 0.5 meters. So when you do 4 divided by 0 0.5, you get 8, and then you can write IMA after it. All right. That's a little bit about IMA. Make sure you watch the AMA and the IMA so you can know how to calculate all of those. Um, hope you learned something today. I'm Mr. Norris, and I'll see you in the next video. I know these have been short, but they're short and sweet.